A team led by Dr. Carsten Mayer at Network for Vision has evaluated a novel treatment for macular holes. Macular holes are holes in the part of the retina responsible for reading vision. Tangential and anti-posterior traction of the posterior vitreous on the retinal surface creates a hole in the central retina. Large, full-thickness macular holes have a diameter greater than 500 micrometers. The current treatment includes vitrectomy, removal of the vitreous and epiretinal membrane to release all traction on the retinal surface. A gas bubble is then inserted to seal the edges of the hole until it closes. This method today has a greater than 95% success rate. However, in large or old holes, the success rate is lower because the retina is presumably firmly attached to the underlying retinal pigment epithelium. In these cases, a novel approach using subretinal fluid may be more effective. It works by injecting fluid under the retina to release the subretinal adhesions between the photoreceptors and the adjacent RPE. First, a small decaline pleb is applied to cover the edges of the hole. Then, three small subretinal plebs of fluid are applied around the hole and the arcades in the macular area. The decaline pleb is now removed by shifting it over the optic disc and aspirating. More fluid is injected into the subretinal blebs, so they become confluent and finally connect with the macular hole. The retracted retina around the macular hole is now detached from the RPE. The elastic retina is now mobile and can shift and cover the anatomical area of the fovea again. In recent cases, Mayer et al. described the success of this subretinal approach to close large size, full thickness macular holes, which had not responded to other conventional treatment using solely an epiretinal approach. Postoperatively, most refractory macular holes closed successfully.